I personally find fear is the biggest killer of happiness because fear kills love. And I'm not talking about fear about dangerous snakes or bucking horses or ugly spiders. I'm talking about fear with lives in the unknown, those things we can't see. For example, we ask ourselves, maybe I shouldn't have written that letter. Maybe I should make this phone call. I will never succeed. Other people are always better. I fear this beautiful apple. And let's say this beautiful apple represents our subconscious. Now in this beautiful apple, I've stuck twigs, little twigs, and big twigs. Now each twig represents a fear. The small ones for the small fear, and the big ones for the big fears. Now these twigs are like foreign bodies in our subconscious, and they have to come out. Still, we can dispute our fears. We can implement three phrases which helps us to dispute our fears. Where's the evidence? Would it be the end of the world? And where's the logic in that? As I mentioned earlier, there are two fears, a real threat or an illusion. 